Jesse V. And today's Halloween slash horror shirt is Mothman. Let me stand up so you can see him in all its glory. And okay, listen, you probably saw the title of today's video and thought, what the heck, Jesse? You said you would never make any more Coraline videos. What's wrong with you? And I know, I feel like I've lied to you guys 8,000 times. Every time I make one, I'm like, okay guys, this is the last one. And then six months later, there's another one. I did not expect to make this video. I just stumbled across this crazy fact online and I just had to tell you guys. Now, this video is not going to be entirely about Coraline. It's actually a glitch in the Matrix video. But we'll get to that in a second. Before we get started, I just want to remind you guys that if you want to win this backdrop behind me, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, so my Jesse B channel, turn on your notification bell, and then head over to my Instagram account called The Whimsy Wonders. Give a follow and then comment anything you want on the first picture that was ever posted there. This is basically an account where I make my own handmade jewelry, so that is why the price point is slightly higher than things you would see on my normal merch website, because these things that I'm making are more like art pieces to me, and they obviously take a lot of time to make. And I've recently just launched a bunch of other new jewelry items on there. These are limited quantities. Once they sell out, I'm never making them again because I like to make pieces pieces and then move on and make other different pieces. So if you are one of the people who get these, please take a picture and let me know. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right into today's video. So like I said, this video is going to be about people who experienced glitches in the matrix. And if you've never heard of that saying before, it's basically when someone experiences something very strange and puzzling that doesn't have a logical explanation. The name comes from the movie The Matrix, where a glitch drew someone's attention to the fact that they were in a simulation. So this theory is supposed to mean that everything around us is not really real and we're just in a giant simulation. Simulation? Am I saying that wrong? So for example, if you see two or more of what looks like the exact same thing, that would be considered a glitch in the matrix. And there are so many pictures that people have taken of this. Or if you just have a weird deja vu moment, or like I said before, if something weird happens to you that has no possible logical explanation, that might be a glitch in the matrix. So let's first talk about the Coraline glitch. It's about this mother who was watching Coraline with her five-year-old son. Now this was his favorite movie. They would watch it all the time, multiple times. They basically knew the whole movie by heart. And I mean, same. The first three quarters of the movie was normal until they got to the scene where the other mother becomes a spider and is freaking out in her metal web. As they were watching this particular scene, they started to hear this weird feedback noise coming from their speakers and then they heard a soft male chuckle and if you guys have ever watched this movie which all of you probably have during the scene there is no chuckling in the background from a male voice the mother said it almost sounded like a man might chuckle if he was trying to be as quiet as possible and it completely sent shivers down her spine I mean imagine watching a movie that you're so familiar with and suddenly there's this one scene that just has something you don't recognize all of a sudden and the speakers made this large cracking noise and clearly coming right out of their speakers came this loud male voice that said, Well, howdy! Right over top of the movie while this whole spider scene is happening. She said it sounded like a man who was in his 50s and while this was happening, the movie never stopped, it never skipped. It just sounded like a man talking over this particular scene. So they rewound the movie and played that scene again and the chuckling and the voice was was gone. And to this day, she said it still bothers her that she'll never know where the source of this voice was coming from. Now, this story was posted on Reddit, and a lot of the comments under this post was saying that maybe she got some weird feedback from like someone else's house or phone or walkie-talkie. I don't know, somehow someone else's voice might have happened to come out of her speakers by accident. But still, what a creepy experience. This next glitch in the Matrix story is called the ice cream stain. This is about a person who was eating chocolate ice cream outside and they accidentally spilled a bunch of it on their leg. So after they wiped it off, there was kind of this pale brown stain mark on their leg. So they ran inside and told their mother what happened because it was almost like the ice cream stain wasn't coming off their skin. And the mother was like, oh no, 
That's your birthmark. It's always been there. And the person telling this story was so freaked out, so shocked because they had never seen a birthmark there on their leg. It wasn't until this ice cream stain happened that they noticed it. So that's a really creepy glitch in the Matrix story. Imagine finding either a mark or a scar or a birthmark on your body that you never knew you had. Like one day it wasn't there and the next day it was. This next glitch in the Matrix story is called, I found a photograph that defies the laws of reality. It's about this person who went to a camp when they were around 12 years old and they took one of those disposable film cameras with them. They ended up taking a picture of two people at the camp and when they looked at the photo, one of the friends looked fine but the other one had like a double of themselves. It says one of them appears in the photo twice in two different poses entirely. It still weirds me out when I come across that photo. That is super weird. This next glitch story is called the lights flickered whenever I walked inside a room. There are actually a bunch of accounts that I found online about people who complain that the lights flicker whenever they walk inside a lit up room. There was a guy talking about this online and he says even his friends and family notice it happening to him. And it's so creepy how many people complain about this. It's never happened to me, but please comment down below if you've ever walked into a room and noticed that the lights flicker around you. This next story freaks me out so much. It's called, I found a location where people spawn. There was a guy who was walking home from the train station when he decided to take a shortcut, but instead he ended up getting lost while he was on this shortcut route. His supposed shortcut led him to this strange construction zone that seemed to be off limits. There were these big signs around him that said things like under construction, unauthorized access forbidden, no entry. So he opened the Google Maps on his phone and it said that the location he was in didn't exist on the maps, which was very strange. And this next part gets so weird. Out of curiosity, he decided to walk into this no entry construction zone anyways, just to see what was there. He saw this door that wasn't attached to anything. It was just standing there in the middle of nowhere. And what's even creepier is that people were walking out of this door. They were completely normal people that didn't look like they would belong in a construction area. Some people were even wearing suits and ties. He literally found a location where people were spawning out of nowhere. And the next day when he tried to go back to the location, it was completely gone. Imagine finding something like that and like no one believed you. This next story is called The Dead Uncle That Didn't Die. It's about this girl whose mom called her one day and told her that her uncle unfortunately passed away. Obviously this was incredibly sad news and she was at work at the time and told one of her co-workers and they expressed their condolences to her. But it says, a couple weeks later, my sister mentioned my aunt and uncle doing something and I said, but he's dead. And my sister said, no he's not. So she called her mom and her mom was like, your uncle's not dead. He's totally fine. And it says, to this day, I'm still not sure how much of it my brain imagined and how much was real. Did I really talk to my coworker? Was I even on the phone with my mom at all that day? So this person is completely freaked out that they have such a vivid memory happening that didn't happen. And this last glitch in the Matrix story is called the portrait. This is about a girl who always loved drawing portraits when she was younger, but she was never really good at it. So she would throw them away a lot of the time. But one day she drew this portrait of a girl Girl that she really, really liked. It was so detailed, it came out really well, so she decided to keep this portrait. So about a week later after she made this portrait, she ended up going to school and there was a new girl there. Now this new girl looked very familiar to her, but she couldn't put her finger on it. And a few days into the week, she realized that it was because she was the girl that she had drawn in the portrait. And it freaked her out so much that she threw out the picture and never drew a portrait of anyone ever again. Now she's really freaked out because this portrait that she drew wasn't of anyone in particular. So there's this warning that if you ever draw a picture of nobody, you might actually be drawing someone that you're gonna meet. So that definitely freaks me out as an artist myself. <laughs> anyway though guys, that is all of the glitch in the matrix stories I'm gonna be talking about today. If anything happened to you guys that kind of go with this whole simulation theory, definitely comment it down below. I mean, I don't particularly believe that we're living like a fake world simulation. Simulation? Am I saying that word really wrong? Wrong. But if you think we are, definitely comment down below as well. These stories are definitely very creepy regardless. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!